Huge trade. Huge, huge, huge trade right here. It's a three-way deal between the Blue Jackets, the Flyers, and the LA Kings. Take a look at this. Ivan Provorov, defenseman of the Flyers, is going to Columbus. Defenseman Sean Walker and goalie Cal Peterson from the Kings are going over to the Flyers. And the LA Kings are retaining 30% of Ivan Provorov and his contract in this trade. Now, David Peñota said, There are more pieces to this move. Minor league players, full details are going to come out soon. The players have not been informed yet that the trade is officially done, but they will be shortly. As Peñota said, more pieces are going to come out in this deal overall. It is the first major trade of the offseason. Let the games begin. There also was another detail here. Columbus is sending LA's first round pick to Philadelphia in this deal, which they previously acquired mid-season. Now, if I am thinking about it correctly off the top of my head, this was for Gavrikov. Yes. So now that first round pick is going over to Philly. Provorov is going from Philly to Columbus, Walker Peterson to Philly, plus that first round pick. Kings are retaining money on the Provorov deal, and this is a pretty good trade for all sides involved, all things considered. Ivan Provorov, we all kind of know that aside from the terrible controversy that happened this season, he is a pretty... Okay, he's had better days in the NHL. He has. There has been a lot of conversation as to whether or not Provorov actually has it in him to improve his game and become the top four, top maybe even two defensemen that he was drafted back in 2015, seventh overall, to be. He's making 6.75 AAV till the end of 2025, so it's a pretty beefy deal. And the Flyers, what they're doing here is they're getting out of that contract. Last season, he had 27 points in 82 games played. Who knows if Mike Babcock is going to go out there and fix Ivan Provorov, bring the best out of this guy. We know that Babcock has had some success in developing players in the past, like the Matthewses and the Nylanders and the Marners. But the reason the LA Kings are getting involved here is because they're sending away Sean Walker and Cal Peterson. Walker is a guy that was probably already going to be on his way out anyway. He's 28 years old, right-handed defenseman, 2.6 AAV till the end of 2024. He had 13 points in 70 games played last season. He's not an amazing player, but he's a player. And he can play, he can do things well. He's all right. But... Because of the way the Kings defense core was laid out, you didn't really have a guaranteed spot for Walker anyway, and because he's making two point something against the cap, there was value in trading him out. You also have Cal Peterson, who was a backup in the AHL, making $5 million a year till the end of 2025. 28 years old, this was a terrible contract, everybody was saying, hey, after the season Cal Peterson had, there's no way the Kings could go on with that contract. He had a 904 save percentage in the AHL, an 868 save percentage in the LA Kings system, and Cal Peterson really worked his way down the depth chart after the glory days that he had, like the 924 save percentage in 11 games played in 2018-19 with the regular LA Kings. He even had the same thing, 911 save percentage, 35 games in 2021. So two years ago, Cal Peterson was actually good, but now he's an AHL guy, now he's a backup, he had a great world championship stint, all things considered, but making $5 million a year till 2025, this was not a good contract and the Kings needed to get out of it. Now it's going over to Philadelphia. So the Flyers, they're getting rid of Provorov, they're getting it a defenseman, replacement defenseman in Sean Walker, and they're taking on Cal Peterson and his contract. Meanwhile, you have yourselves the Kings retaining money on Provorov, which is okay considering that the guy's making 6.75, 30% of 6.75. Let's go ahead and do that. 30 or 0.3, excuse me, 0.3 times... I'm doing this on the spot here. I'm doing a really bad job. $6.75 million a season. 2.3. 2.3 AAV. So essentially, the Kings got rid of Sean Walker to get $2.3 million of Provorov and get rid of Cal Peterson in that deal. And they're going to be able to send Provorov over to Columbus where he's actually going to play and do his thing. Very complicated trade over here, but it's one that makes sense for all these sides. Columbus is getting better because they're getting a player in Provorov. Philadelphia is getting rid of Provorov and they're getting themselves some money and a pick. Good for them to get that draft pick. 
of course, from the Gavrikov trade earlier on. And the LA Kings are freeing up a bunch of cap space by setting away Walker and Peterson in this deal. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this huge three-way trade. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shrolls 99. And bye.